In recent years, with the increase in popularity of technology such as smartphones, distracted driving has become more and more prevalent of an issue in the United States. Distracted driving is defined as any activity that takes a driver's attention away from the road, physically or mentally. This can include things such as using a cell phone, changing a radio station, or having a conversation with another person in the vehicle. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, 3,142 lives were lost in 2019 as a result of traffic collisions caused by distracted drivers. Additionally, data collected by the United States Department of Transportation suggests that distracted driving accounts for about 8% of all fatal accidents in the United States in a given year. In response to to the alarming rate at which distracted driving has become involved in both accidents and fatalities, a majority of states have taken action in an effort to reduce the frequency of drivers engaging in distracting behaviors on the roadways. However, the specific legislation and punishments implemented can vary greatly from state to state. As of December 2020, 48 out of 50 states have put in place laws that in some way prohibit texting while driving with all but four of these states including texting as a law of primary enforcement. Primary enforcement means that an officer can cite that specific violation as a reason to stop a driver and issue a ticket. Additionally, 21 states and the District of Columbia have implemented laws that completely restrict the use of any type of handheld electronic device at all, including Massachusetts, whose hands-free policy became law in February of 2020. Also, because distracted driving is an issue that has been found to disproportionately impact young drivers, 38 states have adopted laws that explicitly prohibit drivers 18 years old and younger from any form of electronic device usage. Motor vehicle crashes continue to be one of the leading causes of deaths in the United States for kids and adults ages 16 to 24. This next video shows the study done on distracted driving involving motor vehicle crashes in the United States. In the video, they talk about a retrospective study analysis that they have done. The study involves drivers and passengers ages 16 to 19 from the time of 2007 to 2017. What they found was that there were 38,215 drivers 16 to 19 years old involved in fatal motor vehicle crashes from this 10 year time period. Overall, they found that texting bans and handheld bans for all drivers in all ages were associated with decreased motor vehicle crash fatalities. Hello and welcome. My name is Dr. Michael Flaherty, and I'm a pediatric critical care physician and injury prevention researcher at Mass General for Children in Boston. The highlighted study, Distracted Driving Laws and Motor Vehicle Crashes, was conducted by myself and my colleagues, Alex Kim, Dr. Michael Salt, and senior author, Dr. Lois Lee of Boston Children's Hospital. Motor vehicle crashes continue to be the leading cause of death in adolescents in the United States. While there are many contributors to these crashes, distracted driving has emerged as an important cause of motor vehicle crash deaths. Distraction while driving can take many forms, including texting while driving and the use of mobile electronic devices for other reasons that distract the driver's attention away from the task of driving. The prevention of distracted driving includes awareness, education, and legislation. Recently, many states have enacted a variety of distracted driving laws aimed at reducing motor vehicle crashes as a result of distraction. These laws typically take three forms. There are primarily and secondarily enforced texting bans, which explicitly ban text messaging while driving. 
handheld cell phone bans, which prohibit the use of any handheld device, and all cell phone use bans, which only apply to novice drivers and ban any use of a cell phone, either via handheld use or using Bluetooth or speakerphone. Little is known as to what effect these laws have on motor vehicle crash deaths in teenagers. In order to answer this question, we conducted a retrospective time series analysis of fatal motor vehicle crash rates in 16 to 19 year old drivers and passengers between 2007 and 2017. We computed rates of fatal motor vehicle crashes using the Fatality Analysis Reporting System and the United States Census Bureau data. We then compared these rates across states based on different types of distracted driving laws. We developed a multivariate negative binomial regression model to attempt to control for other state level factors, including economic conditions and other laws which have been shown to reduce motor vehicle crashes, including graduated driver licensing laws and rural highway speed limit laws. So what did we find? Across our study period between 2007 and 2017, there were 38,215 fatal motor vehicle crashes involving 16 to 19 year old drivers for an average annual crash rate of 20.1 per 100,000 persons. Over the course of our study, there were multiple changes in the adoption of distracted driving laws in the United States. At the beginning of our study in 2007, only 15 states had any form of distracted driving law. By the end of our study, 40 states had primary texting bans. Handheld cell phone bans also continued to grow. In our age-specific adjusted models, primarily enforced texting bans and handheld cell phone bans applying to all drivers were associated with the greatest mortality reductions. The largest mortality reduction was nearly 43% seen in 16-year-olds in states with handheld cell phone bans pertaining to all drivers. When we looked at 16 to 19 year old passengers, all forms of texting bans and handheld cell phone bans were also associated with a mortality benefit. In summary, in the United States, primarily enforced distracted driving laws are associated with reduced motor vehicle crash rates in teenage drivers and passengers. And in particular, handheld cell phone bans seem to be most effective. We should all continue to counsel our patients on the dangers of driving while distracted especially new drivers. After watching that video and gathering information from other sources, we can determine the effectiveness of distracted driving laws. In the U.S., when a texting and driving ban was implemented, a 3% reduction in these types of accidents occurred overall, which in turn caused the prevention of 19 deaths per year. Laws and policies that have been implemented to target a specific group have also been proven to be successful, such as the bans aimed at teens, which decreased the amount of deaths in this category by 11%. When handheld devices were banned while driving, the fatality rate decreased the most for adults and in other age groups as well. The hands-free policy has also been proven to be very successful because it allows drivers to only use their phones if they're using voice activation or if it is propped up on the dashboard. This has been proven to be more successful over just texting bans because people are still allowed to pick their phones up and make phone calls. At the end of this evaluation, we can conclude that texting bans and handheld bans for drivers of all ages decrease the number of fatalities involved in motor vehicle crashes. We can also conclude that complete hands-free laws have been proven to be more effective than just having texting ban laws. And this is because hands-free laws don't even allow you to really touch your phone unless you're using your voice to activate something or if your phone is propped up, but you're still not allowed to touch it in any way. 
compared to the texting ban laws where you can still pick up your phone and make a phone call and it also is very tempting in other ways where you can change a song or you can browse the internet and still be extremely distracted. So overall, it would be a lot more impactful if we implemented hands-free laws nationwide so that other areas that are more impacted by distracted driving can have these laws in place and policies.